What's up, what's up everybody, Chief Rocky here, and welcome to my video. This video is all about Infinite Lagrange, which is a cross-platform game, both for mobile and for PC. So what is Infinite Lagrange? Infinite Lagrange is a large-scale, strategic, real-time, multiplayer space simulation strategy game produced by NetEase Interactive Entertainment and available for Windows, Android, and OS. NetEase has been producing some pretty good games quite recently. What is NetEase? Well, it is a Chinese internet technology company providing online services centered on content, community, communications, and commerce. They currently publish Dead by Daylight Mobile, Racing Masters, Eve Echoes, Afterlight X Residential Evil, and Marvel Superhero Wars, all mobile titles that have been pretty successful, especially Eve Echoes has been making quite a splash on the mobile community. Now, for anybody that has been to my channel before, knows that I've played Stellaris Galaxy Command in the past. It was a mobile title I was very excited to play. I'm a big fan of Stellaris. I like playing the game. And something ported to the mobile genre was something that I really wanted. Something that I could reach into my pocket and just immerse myself in the Stellaris galaxy. But boy, was I really disappointed in that game. At first, I liked it, and then as I kept playing it, I realized th this, this game is just out to grab your money. Um, so I'm hoping that this game is not like that. And from seeing a lot of the content from content creators and Infinite Lagrange and NetEase itself, the game looks very, very good. Now, I'm not expecting something that's totally free to play and there's no in-game purchases at all. But I'm looking for something that at least has the ability to allow people to enjoy the game without whales just totally dominating the game. And from what I've seen, they have certain stipulation in what you can purchase and what those purchases can do, which it's, it's kind of intriguing to me. So I'm coming into this game with that mindset of, you know what, let's just give it a shot, let's see what happens. Uh, it's just, the graphics are, are insanely good, especially for a mobile game. Um, the, the ability to watch the battles is just crazy to me, and the fact that you could play this on the computer without any of the emulators, um, and then pick it up, play it on your phone when you're on the bus, or on the train, or just taking a lunch break at work. This, this, is, this is awesome. Like, I'm, I'm very intrigued about this game, and I'm coming in with an open mind, but I can't guarantee that I'm going to like this game. But however, however, it looks really good. So I'm pulling you guys to stay, take a seat, grab a cup of coffee, and enjoy the first eh, 45 minutes maybe of gameplay and see if you might enjoy this game as well. All right, Gaming Warriors, so here we are starting an Infinite Lagrange. I've never played this game before, but I'm super excited. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers review this game, and I've even seen some just straight up pretty cool battles. Now, if you're unfamiliar with my channel, I have played Stellaris Galaxy Command, which is another mobile kind of space grand strategy game, and I was highly disappointed in it. I had great aspirations for that game and it utterly failed me on every aspect it almost seemed like it was a money grab the graphics were not very good the combat scenes not very good the variations of ships not very good the control of what you had not very good it seemed like a base game like a base building game and then they just kind of threw ships in there just yeah just not good but what i've seen from this pretty good like you have massive control not mass control over the ships, but a lot more variations of ships, uh, which gives you more control over the sequence of battles, kind of, right? Um, you get to control how you go in there and basically what they target. Uh, so I'm looking forward to this and seeing what we could do. So let's get in there. Let's get this started.
in the space discovery era. The expanse beyond our solar system remained a mystery to us. It prompted the desire for the uncharted world, driving the demand for new technology. An experiment changed the course of our history. At Lagrange points, resonance of war space was found, opening the tunnel between two stellar systems. As the technology matures, comes a new era of interstellar travel. We call these pathways Lagrange nodes. Giant stargates were built, linking busy routes across the galaxy. The traffic system, Lagrange Network, brought prosperity and wealth. Conflict and warfare. Old empires fell apart. New forces rose instead. As war spread, the long forgotten side of space revealed itself. Darkness. The desire to venture is never extinguished, and the Lagrange network is lighting up once again. Home beckons, yet journey awaits. The path is yours to decide. That was pretty good. All right, it is a great era of explore, uh, exploration with more and more Lagrange gates being built. Countless explorers like you are swarming into the new star system. There's still many uncharted star systems awaiting exploration of the vast galaxy. It's up to you to... Oh, that moves fast. I'm reading fast. Commander, your fleet has been ready to set up from Newport to destination in new star systems to achieve your ambitions and aspirations there. Now, it is time for you to depart. New <sighs> created. Okay. Ooh, what, what are you going to give me? Something good? Started okay. Completely. Sailing destination city of Antan... Uh, Antontinus? Antontus? I think. Okay. Frigates, all in good condition. Ooh, nice. I don't know what these are, but frigates? FG-300s? Look at, look at this right off the bat. Coordinates located. Look at this. First exit of Newport. Just being able to, like, swing around and get a full aerial of the... Look, you can even zoom in pretty much. A new stellar system the, has been yeah. found. Artwork is already... Art, artwork is already getting me. I like this, the sailing log, too. As a sailor myself. Now oh, look, there's other ships. Where we could click on it? Bro. Is this a mobile game? Attention. For real. Entry You're lying. I am playing in this on a computer, though. They do have a, a computer-based game that does cr cross into in. the... City of you know what I mean. Into the... <laughs> oh, my God. I'm such a lost words. Initiate into phones and tablets. Cr Cross-platform. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying cross platform. Yeah, ooh, warping. Five, Where are we going? Four, City of Antontas? I think that's how you say it. Initiating warp drive module. Initiating warp drive module. This is pretty cool. Alright. Antonios Consortium. That's very ancient Rome. Very Latin. Ooh, look at this. What's this? This looks like ships. This got to be the city of Ant Antontas then? I'm thinking. Yep. Ooh, faction registration. Okay. So what I'm getting from this is you don't really have a handle, right? It's not you per se. It's the faction that you lead. So let's see if we could do obsidian. Nope. 
Oh, I'm not going to be Obsidian Syndic. <laughs> We're not going to do that. How about... Dark... Syndicate. Name's already in use. Okay. 15. Really? That's all you're going to give me? Um... All right, so running out of names here. So Dark Coalition sounds pretty gruesome to me. <laughs> All right, ooh, emblems, let's go. So freedom, I don't think the Dark Coalition stands for freedom. Order, I can see it standing for order, but to stop the inherent chaos. Mm, glory, definitely. Reverence. Uh, not too sure about that one. Tranqu oh, hell no. Not tranquility. We are not about tranquil. <laughs> not the dark coalition. All right. We can recreate the earth, but not recreate them. Rebirth. To survive in space, emotional detachment from home is a prerequisite. Ooh. That is pretty deep. I do like this one. The glory, though. Whatever we take, we keep kind of deal. All right, um, I say let's go black. I don't think, oh, okay, there, um, no, 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 no. Yeah, okay, we'll go that one. This, can we, we can't do black, so I think this is, you know, that's good. Territory defense. Messenger. Purity. No, we'll go with territory defense, I guess. Okay, there we go. All right, so these are our personal assets we have right now. This much in metal, crystal, deuterium, I believe it is, and UE coin. Uh, and we have three FG300s. So after we sign the Dawn Accord, which is here, can we do this? Oh, here we go. The Stargate is an important part of the space transportation. Once blown up, it will bring serious. So all I want to know is I got it. It will not let me uncheck it. So either way, you can read this on your own if you want. So I'll leave it here for a second. Read it. But you still have to sign it. <laughs> He's still the richer. All right. So, okay. So after we sign the Don Accord, these will all be allowed for us to build on our own. And to remodel as we please. So you have both the small, medium, and large utility ships. And the FG 300s, which is the frigates. So, unfortunately, you can't unsign. I would love to see. All right, net ease. Allow us to be privateers. Yes, I've I've watched the game, so yes, I would like to see that. So, anyways, let's register because obviously the only option we got. Let's go. The Dark Coalition approved. Oh, we're sanctioned. Is registered successfully. Oh, thank you. Now broadcasting to the galaxies in the Milky Way. Yeah, let them know we're coming. The Dark Coalition's coming. Is over. Hide your women and children. A unique ID. Now requesting permission from Antonio's Consortium. Antonio's Consortium in Antonos. I like that. The Consortium. Ooh, that's such a good... Why didn't I think of that? The Dark Consortium. Ooh. If you're watching this, take that name. Now checking traffic conditions. That's a good one. This is still pretty cool. Like you could click on these. Ooh. Fleet of the Trailblazer. Affiliated to newly found faction. Judging by its course, it's heading. That's pretty cool. Fleet of Trailblazer. Are these actual players though? That's what I know. New urban area. Who's this? Resource transport fleet. What's up here? Now requesting City of Antonas. A permanent metropolis is where Antonius Consortium headquarters are located together with the Noma Shipping Corp City of Belobog and the City of Endless Dawn in the Ter Terran Spire. The three cities jointly referred to as ABE. This is pretty cool, man. You could click around and like gather some intel and stuff. This is pretty cool. All right, well, we're warping, so we can't read all that. Warp 
Okay, where are we at now? Okay, so we got some ships here. Battle Cruiser, the Constantine the Great. Ooh. Now sending permission. Pretty cool. Military area. What's this one? The Centennial Enterprise. Centennial Enterprise. Battleship flag ship of the first fleet of Andrew Security Company. Permission confirmed. What about this guy? Oh, it's the same thing. What about the guy right next to him? What's that one? Now sending the visa to the Pioneers. Same game. thing. Oh, I got a visa? Please wait. From from I got a visa? That's pretty cool. They got some resources over here. Metal resources. Verified successfully. Wow, that's pretty cool. Look and look at the metal asteroids. Like look how they pop. Alright, so ooh, Attention. look at so the this is a Lagrange point, right? Restricted military, presence. forbidden area rumored to contain Antonius and Antonius warships module weapon modules. It allows the warships to enter combat at any time when emergencies arise from the Stargate. So I'm believing this is the Lagrange Match point. Successful. So we could hold and skip this if you want. But I am very curious about this. What's this? Goddess Smile. The long usage of the beacon surface, the heavily corroded, revealing a special pattern nicknamed Goddess's Please Smile. Now entering the Pioneer's Gate. There we go. Off to the Endless Good Void. Luck, I don't need that. Nice. Region 2 looks pretty big. Yeah, let's do Region 2. Commander, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, obviously. I clicked it, right? Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, I love the cinematics in this game. You don't see too many mobile games like this. Especially in the, the space grand strategy genre. Like they just don't take the time for this. This is pretty cool. Yes, the Dark Coalition has arrived. Fleet composition updated. Okay, Commander, our ships have made it through the Stargate to a new star system. The base is under construction. Well, let's view that. Oh, all the cinematics. It's pretty cool. Oh, it's like a snap and done. Okay, yes, we'll build the shipyard. All buildings are listed here. Oh, sweet. Tap to view build a capital shipyard to produce okay. small and medium-sized ships. Got it. Construction is complete. Now we have a capital shipyard. Tap to view utility ship dock. So it's just kind of guiding me through this. Not not a big deal, right? A tutorial is kind of necessary with any game pretty much. So, tap to view the ship uh the, the utility ship dock. Utility ship dockyard facility is complete. And this will give us one. The ability to produce utility ships. Okay, makes sense. Takes time. Yes, we can speed up. Perfect, time. I got 20 of them. Whoa, look at that. Oh, another cinematic. There's my three frigates. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, so my worker ships are going out there and basically just building stuff. I assume. Resources are required for construction and production. Produce a small utility. Select okay. The blueprint we could do that. To start production. I thought we came. Oh, production no, we didn't. Underway. Perfect. There he is. Production of small utility ship is complete. Okay. Please Heading out to, to the expanse. Is an operation of our forces. We can okay. give orders to our fleet. Select space dust. Tap mine to collect resources. Ships can okay. be grouped into Pretty self explanatory. Orders. Select a small utility ship. Got him. To create a fleet. New create fleet the fleet. Created. Estimate given orders. Okay, Our execute. Fleet. We could view it. Oh, look at that. It's got little worker bees. It's like it's like the mama hive. And the little bees. Aw. I don't is it really mining? It looks like a 
Looks like he's vaccinating the asteroid. Oh, we detected a small battle taking place near. Should go check out the details. Well, it looks like two worker ships getting attacked. Oh God. That's not even a fair fight. Look at these bullies, man. A privateer fleet is spotted. Tap here to return to map. All right, are we going to go rough them up? Located. Privateers are non-signatories of the Dawn Accord. I already knew that. <laughs> Eliminating the privateers. See, that's what would be really cool if you gave them the Create option. A new operation to defeat the privateer fleet after okay. the operation area is designated. Can we move this around? Can no, we can't. Orders in the air okay. Order and attack. Dispatch a fleet to defeat this. Tap select all to choose all. Tap to create a fleet. New fleet okay. Created. Pretty self-explanatory. Let's go get them. Okay, we're taking off. All right, haze gray and underway. Shift colors. All right. This is pretty cool, though. That's right. Flank speed. Oh, that was flank speed. They just went here. Tip here to get ship information. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, you don't see this in too many mobile space games. Look at this. Look at this. That's pretty cool. Can we click on this? We can't click on this guy. We can look at him too? The Nomad. That's a neat looking ship. Whoa. whoa. Oh, look at that explosion though. Oh, so cool. Okay, the battle is over and our fleet is won. Acquired a blueprint. XP 109. So that's the amount of blueprints we got. Looks like we're just jumping right out of here. Heading home. Yeah, that's right. Go back. Get yourself a beer. Hit the town. Grab a couple ladies. Or men. Whatever you're into. I don't really judge. Sometimes. It really depends. I don't know. I don't judge. Okay, the strength of the pirateers should not be underestimated. Get more blueprints to the research and enhance the strengths of our fleets. Drag a blueprint file to the research branch. Okay. This one? Or can I go to this one? I don't know which one it like sure. Standard choose military ones. Technology to research. It doesn't look like you're gonna let me choose. Complete. The subsequent nodes will okay. be unlocked. Nice. And now we can research a recon frigate, which apparently we need. Okay. Uh, click here to go to the expanse. All right. It's been detected that a privateer fleet created operations around our base, around your base. Quite a bit, actually. The guy's blocking us in. I don't like it. Looks like one is on our way. Can we intercept? These pirateers will automatically attack fleets entering their operations. Destroy them ASAP for the sakes of our base. Well, no offense. Upgrade facility to build ships to prepare pirate. Okay. I'm clicking it. Tap here to the mission screen. We will okay. Rich rewards for nice. Missions and quests. Okay, so collect resources, obtain a stable resource yield. Tap here Boom. To jump to the target. Got some coins. Okay. This is going to take us there. And what does it want us to do? Oh, a frigate dockyard. So we can make more frigates. So produce frigate building time. Reduces repair speeds and shipyard can now build a frigate, which we're definitely going to need. Okay. And now we're done. Now we got to upgrade this so we can accommodate for it. So we can speed up. Construction Boom. Complete. Nice. Okay, lots more resources. Throw it at me, baby. Um, and then build more ships. Okay, easy day. And build. Underway. What's this? Prefab module. Consume prefab module to speed up building time processes. Okay. Ship production line is ready. Done. You know what? Can I build another one just for safe measure? Oh, it's not going to let me. I have to do this. Okay. 
Boom, done. More rewards. Thank you very much. Now what's this? Get a blueprint experience through combat. Okay, so go battle another guy. Let's do it. New Confirm. Created. Rapid formation. Create fleet the fleet. Created. And confirm. Click here for the help screen. Okay, create an operation. All of your uh, actions must be accompanied by a corresponding operation. To specify an area outside of the base for an operation, tap create operation on the main screen. Okay, give commands. Your fleets can execute commands within the operation area, including attack, mine, ooh, you can mine, and guard. That's pretty cool. Okay, I didn't know you can mine. Okay, tap here to enter personal profile screen and check the help info again. Okay, now it wants me to go here. Yes, I'm battling. Okay. Oh, and I think I cleared chapter one, forwarding the foundation. Okay. Sweet. Ooh, ship tech files. All right, so get blueprint experience through combat. So I got to battle one more time. Upgrade the port to accommodate more ships. Build more ships. I see a trend here. There we go. Well, we're in the battle, so exploration campaign, end of tutorial. Okay, well, at least that one, right? Okay, it's blinking, but there's nothing. You have here. Dawn Record, a documentary of the history that created all the pioneers in the star system. I think we'll look at this stuff later. I just want to acknowledge that they exist. No, I'm not buying nothing. <laughs> um, recruit 80 members of the union. No. Okay, so I guess factions or guilds in here are called unions. So we got some stuff here to take a look at. It's just telling us the victory. Okay. It's going to tell us like pretty much the after actions report how much damage we took. By formation. Battle stats. This basically gives us the damage we put out. Um, air defense, recovery, all that. Um, HP change. And then the rewards, obviously, right? The XP was probably the most important one. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. What's this? Join us on Facebook and Discord. Hi. I'll think about it. <laughs> um, Where are we at now? I think I clicked too, a little too far out. That's fine. Let's, uh, I think we can click this and go to the base. Perfecto. Alright, we still battling? Looks like we're winning though. This is the wandering pirate. Let's view. Let's see how the battle's going. Auto turret is firing up. Looks like there's only one ship. He's at he's got 12% health left. Nice. Is that bad? And like I said, you could go all around and kind of review what's going on, and you could even click the bad guy. That's pretty cool. Ships. Okay, so ooh, look at this. It even names your operation Enemy area. Element. So we're in operating area Saber something. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go back to the expanse. Looks like they're heading back. Okay. Now I don't know if you could get rid of the operating areas. But it's something I gotta look at later. Looks like these guys are warping back. Okay, this is gonna tell us not bad. I think this one needs repairs, definitely. Okay, we got we got XP, not bad. All right, nothing. Okay, we're gonna have to do another battle. Let's see here. So it looks like I'm on my own now. Fleet composition updated. What do we got here? Research, research. Okay, so we're re still researching here. Okay, Dawn scheme. Okay, so this seems like we have to sign in. How do we do that? Let's see. Oh, by paying. That's how you sign in, guys. You pay them money. All right, but it looks like we just get extra stuff there. And I'm not I'm not trying to do that right now, but we would get that if we did. And I'm really not in that much of a rush. But it looks like you just get files when you purchase, so I'm not really worried about that. But we could claim at least these. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we did. Dawn Financial Plan. Same thing here. But it looks like you purchased with these. And what does it do? 
rewards claim and income okay but it looks like we use this currency here so you got chew coin and prox proximia coin insufficient amounts okay so we no 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 okay so we get these how do you get these free chew coins the chew coins are given for free on an in-app purchase it, uh, uh, wait hold on hold on a second no i know i'm not the smartest person in the world but free and purchases don't mix do I get them for free or do I have to get a purchase? So if I purchase something, I get it. So I, have to, I still have to spend money to get this coin. Now, how do I get this one? Oh, by exchanging this one, I potentially see a problem here. A currency issued in memory of the launch of the first pair of large two stargates it is widely circulated in the Earth Centauri economy circle. Recharge. A hoe. What? Or you could do the daily gift. <laughs> okay, so I might have to look at this game a little more with a little bit more scrutiny. That That's concerning. Let's look at the store, though. Okay, so it, it looks like you could just either buy weapon tech or blueprints, but nothing like you can't buy a, a, an abundant amount of like boosts or anything. So that part at least looks... Like, okay, you, you'll have at least a different type of ship, but other than that, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, this even tells you. Okay, so it just comes with weapons blueprints. Okay, cool. And it looks like you could actually purchase this stuff, right, with the actual currency you get in-game, which is this e-coin. Now, can I exchange this for this? Uh, no. Okay, that's going to be a problem. What the hell is this? What, what, what? I'm not even going to ask. Oh, look at this. Tech points. I could purchase them. Okay. Be critical, chief. <laughs> I'm doing that. Okay. So here we go. Yeah, it doesn't look like I could earn any of these. Just this one. That's troubling. That's troubling. All right, blueprints. Let's see here. Oh, looks like ooh, we could actually switch... A blueprint what can we do here looks like we could paint you got to spend money to paint your ship okay but here we go so we could actually change the layout of these if we want right so you could come here that's actually pretty cool and you could actually change like the engines we don't have anything to switch it with but that's pretty cool. So you could change the performance of certain blueprints. Pretty cool. The medium one. Medium one looks pretty cool too. And the small. And the small is the one we're using right now. Alright, the tech factory. Oh, this is because we unlocked it. Okay. So can attack and basic aircraft radar. And then we only have one ship. And I think I'll play around with uh, different variations of these things. So this is just the multi-role one. And apparently there's other ones as too. Okay. Yeah, because we have to buy them. What do they call them? Liverary. Okay. Oh, look at this. And we can go back to schematic view. Oh, no. Wow. It shows you where the weapons are. Hologram mode. Okay, that's okay. That's what we were originally in. Okay. Pretty damn cool. Pretty cool. We learned about this. So, I think that's all. This is kind of like a, a first impressions uh, of, of, this, of this game. This, this very unique uh, Infinite Lagrange. Um, so far, I'm impressed. I, I am kind of concerned with the currency layout, right? Um, I was hoping for something a little bit more honest, but we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. So I'm going to continue to play around and, and have fun. What's this? Ooh, a supply depot. Hmm. 
yeah, I'm going to keep playing and, and, and have fun and make more content on this. And, and you guys could make a decision for yourself. But so far, I'm enjoying this. I think it is a better substitute for my Space Grand Strategy mobile game than Stellaris Galaxy Command. That game was just, I thought it was good. I kept telling myself it was good. I kept lying to myself. And it was, it was horrible bombed it so but anyways hope you guys enjoyed make sure you stay tuned because i'm going to probably be doing more content on infinite infinite lagrange chief rocky out